Hi everyone. I am CS Darshini. I am studying 9th standard in Lurdanai Girls Higher Secondary School and I am also a student of Junior IAS Academy. In the previous video, we are discuss about plant physiology part 1. In this video we are going to discuss about plant physiology part 2 what's the topic plant physiology we will see about the second topic in plant physiology that is nastic movement what's the topic nastic movement nastic movements are non directional responses to stimuli and are usually associated with plants the movement can be due to changes in darkar or changes in growth nastic movements are classified as three types they are photonasty thigmonasty thermonasty first we will know about the what is a photonasty movement of a part of a plant in response to light example of photonasty is teraxum opsinale blooms in morning and closes in evening similarly ibama alba moon flower opens in the night and closes during the day next thigmonasty movement of a part of plant in response to touch example is vines fly trap dionia misipula small information about vines fly trap a small carnivorous bug plant with hinged leaves that spring shout on and digest insect with land on them native to the vines fly trap is south eastern as it is also kept as an indoor plant next thermonasty movement of a part of a plant is associated with change in temperature for example tulip flowers bloom as the temperature increase the third topic is process of photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process used by plants and other organisms to convert light energy into chemical energy that through cellular respiration can later be released to fuel the organism metabolic activity the overall equation of photosynthesis is carbon dioxide plus water plus solar energy plus glucose and plus oxygen next requirements for photosynthesis this activity so such certain things are necessary for photosynthesis they are chlorophyll green pigment in leaves water carbon dioxide and sunlight